Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Thanks for tuning in. I hope the videos are helping your designing process. If they are, please smash that subscribe button, tap on that notification bell, and leave me a like, and please take a five seconds and drop a comment in there. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, also, if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee, you can do that around this area, super thanks button, uh, and you can uh, keep me awake a little longer. <laughs> uh today what we're going to do is, well i just loaded matrix uh, 3.8 uh so i'm not real familiar with it i did check out a little bit of the uh, shrink wrap uh and uh, i found that to be uh extremely uh cool uh it's really a nice uh item and what i did is i made this ring this ring here uh and then shrink wrapped it and as you can tell the detail that it kept and everything in it was really pretty good uh so I, i'm pretty happy with that uh, you'll have to play around with the settings a little bit as you can see here i've got uh, a little uh texture which is what we're going to do something uh how to show uh, and save uh a, a texture customized texture that you make and we have these items separately and then we have an inside here uh, and then we also have the upside here, but it really did a great job on uh, And it was a lot quicker than going to uh, Mesh repair and stuff like that and this is all uh, ready to go I did do a mesh check on it and it came out the uh, first time uh, Bad mesh uh, just had to do a couple of adjustments there to fix it uh, with the uh, mesh repair uh, It was ready to go. So uh, that I was uh, pretty pretty <laughs> pretty cool uh, a lot quicker than uh, doing it the other way um, okay so today what we're going to do is like I said is uh, do a little texture uh, customizing texture saving it so that you can uh, recall it uh, back in uh, say you're doing a line of product uh, and you kind of want to keep the same texture on the pendant uh, the ring the earrings uh, bracelet or whatever uh, so like an ensemble piece type stuff uh, and you want to keep that same look uh, with the texture on it uh, so something like this would be uh, good to to have in your arsenal or at least know how to do it and uh, recall it very quickly instead of having to go back and remake each one one, right so that's what we're going to do so the first thing I need to and you can also recall it with uh, clay you emboss you can recall it with our uh, texture 3d inside matrix gold uh, but uh, it the texture will probably not come out exactly as if you were to make it in the uh, properties in Rhino but you can get some really cool textures with that as well uh, so let's get going on this uh, First, I need a surface to work off of, so I'm just going to grab a plane and make sure my grid snaps are on, and I'll go over here to around that uh, 10 over. So I'm gonna drag it 20 and by 20. So I got a little square out there, and I'll give it some shading. So we just have a 20 uh, by 20 uh, plane out there, uh, and we're gonna create our texture off of this. So like I said, we could, we could do the texture and save it uh, in our uh, 3D uh, texturing. Uh, in in here uh, you could do it that way uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, use uh, the displacement builder or displacement mapping on our uh, item here uh, through our properties and just so you know because it's changed a little bit if you go down to options uh, type in options go down to the command line type in options and then go to your toolbars uh, the the you don't have to scroll all the way down through there to get your uh, toolbar for your rhino it would be right here at the top so and then you have your mesh uh, sidebar here so you don't have to scroll down and grab all those and uh, there's a lot in there. There's a lot more, I think, uh, going on in there. But I'll go ahead and cancel out of that. That's how you get to the new in Matrix A, just to FYI. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up properties panel here in Rhino. And we're just going to go ahead and put a texture on this item here. So we'll go ahead and click the item and it will uh, populate with all kinds of tools that you can use. We're going to use the displacement mapping here and we'll click on that. And we need to select a texture, right, that we're going to build off of. Say I want to make a uh, nuggety type style design. It's the easiest to show. So that's what I'm going to do. So don't take up a lot of your time but you can import all kind of things in from the web uh, for texturing as well and I'll maybe try to get to that at another time uh, so we'll go in here and, and we'll click uh, we want a, a new texture so we'll just click here and then I think the best one for nuggety type stuff is like your granite texture here so we'll just click on that and then we'll activate it and it'll throw up a little nuggety texture but it doesn't really look like too too good right and we did another video on this uh how to really clean it up so i'm not going to go in a lot of detail on that you can check that video out it's up on the the uh channel so uh but we're going to go down here and we are going to change it from me medium uh to a very high uh, and now you can see that we have a little bit more nuggety texture and maybe we need that texture to be a little bit tighter, right? So it's kind of got some nice lows that are spread out a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead here and click on that little pencil right there. You know, that's our editor. Uh, and we, it opens up this pop up over here and we can scroll down and we can kind of drag this up to change it and you're going to see it update as you move it around so uh, that's new too uh, usually you had to hit ok to kind of see the update if I remember correctly it's been a little while since I did texturing uh, but uh, you can move it around and get uh, however the offset that you're wanting so let's say we want something like this right uh, it's like I said it's not about using this we have another video up uh, and it's uh, pretty much the same it's, it's a little bit different over here you can drag and it'll show it up but the, all, overall it's uh, pretty close to the same and if you need something on this let me know and I'll come back in and do another one on this but there is one up uh, so I'll just and normally you have to hit OK you don't have to hit OK just click off of it and you're you're good to go right Okay, so we have our texture out there that we want to use for several different items and we want to be able to get this back very quickly, right? So we want to save it to our library. Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll go to all viewports and we'll, we'll click right here on our right click on, on that window. So it pops up this uh, menu here and we'll come down here to the bottom uh, viewport layout and we're just going to go ahead and grab a new uh, viewport in here. Uh, and we'll just kind of move it over a little bit because we'll need to see our top viewport here. Uh, and let's give that uh, some t uh, uh, di display so we can kind of see it here. And if you click on in your display here, whichever one you want, but you want to click on this one, this is the one we're going to be working off of, uh, you can go over here and change your view, right? So we're going to change this to just a, a 600... Uh, by uh, 600 and as you can see our, our viewport scale changes over here right so now we have something like this it's a square exactly like our item so uh, we want to get a view of this so that we can save it to our library and recall it at any time right and get this exact same texture for whatever we're working on uh, so what you'll need to do is you'll need to come up to your uh, view uh, and then go to set camera and then go set camera to uh, object. You'll need to uh, orient camera to object or set camera to object. We'll click on here and we'll just hit enter. And you can see it just kind of moved our camera kind of centered up, right? It wasn't totally center. <clears throat> we can also uh, click on it and hit uh, ZS and hit enter and it pulls it up a little bit. Not nearly enough though, we need it exactly on. So what we're gonna do is go down on our command line and type in a camera and we'll hit enter and we can show, hide or toggle it on and off. So we're just going to show camera and in the front viewport you can see our camera there. And we are going to drag this and bring it right into our edge of our item. So it's right on our edge. And now if we go back to the this, you can see it goes 
it, it takes up our entire item, right? And that that's kind of what we want. We want uh, this view here, right? <clears throat> After you get it this way, you can come down to your command line and type in a Z a buffer. No, show Z buffer, sorry, show Z buffer. Uh, and that'll give us our uh, height field image, right? That we can now recall and save in our library and c recall it from uh, clay U uh, texturing, or we can recall it into uh, our properties, Rhino properties. Uh, you could even recall it into your uh, Texture 3D uh, inside Matrix Gold after you save it. So after we get it like this, uh, we're going to right click here and we're going to come down to where it says uh, capture and we're going to capture this to file. Uh, and we have it here and we're just not going to, you don't really need to mess with any of these. Sometimes you will need to, but right now, no. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and click OK. And it'll ask us where to sa save it. I already saved one right here, but I'll go ahead and uh, type in, uh, I saved it, Documents, Matrix Gold, Library, Textures. So documents, go to your, wherever your Matrix Gold is, right? Uh, and then go to the library and then save it in your textures. And I'll just type this one in, Nugget, uh, Nugget uh, 03. Uh, since I already have two others out there. And you can import different images to get different kinds of textures as well. So off of the internet as well. Uh, so there's a lot of options you have available. So we have a Nugget 03 here, uh, and we're just going to go ahead and save that, right? So now that we have it saved, we can go ahead and click on our texture, and it'll give you this. We can just turn that off and get rid of that. And we can close out this viewport by scrolling down, close viewport, and now we're back to our uh plane right uh and then you can recall that at any time right now uh i have it locked in there so let's go ahead uh, because it'll just come right back up let's go ahead and get a new uh, viewport uh, just so i can kind of show uh where to get it and all that kind of fun stuff uh so we'll wait for that and then we'll just go back and grab our plane here real quick and we'll snap it to our 20 by 20 and we'll give it some shading and now we want to get that exact same texture just go back to uh, uh rhino's properties uh click on our item It'll go just show di displacement and we want to grab a displacement. Uh, so we'll click plus, we'll go to uh, import from file uh, and we'll go to our matrix gold, uh, go to uh, library, go to textures and our nugget 03 is right here and we can turn it on and change that from medium up to very high uh, and wait for that to load and there's our exact same texture that we just had out there uh, so that's how quickly you can get it and we can clean that up even a little bit more uh, by changing uh, some of these others like turning on this uh, and that'll clean it up just a little and we can also do some other but you can check out that other video for all that uh, so there you go uh, that'll uh, give you the same texture back uh, and you can uh, continue on uh, also uh, let's go ahead let's grab this here real quick one more time and we'll turn that off uh, just to show you uh, you can go to your tools as well and go to textures right uh, did I get rid of my ground? Oh, no, it disappeared because of, and then scroll down to the bottom here where all your new ones are. And we should have a nugget EO3 right here. But here, <coughs> it's probably not going to be exactly alike. Uh, it doesn't, you probably won't get it exactly the same unless you, you make it the same way that we just made it from here uh, you can get that same texture but if you go in and do it from rhino uh, displacement mapping uh, you probably get uh, a little bit different texture no matter how we adjust it I don't think that we can get that uh, back to where uh, where it was we'll do a one by one and it's, yeah it's still not we can go in and adjust our white height yeah similar eh, no it's not <laughs> uh you know you could mess around with that but you could you can make your textures in here too whatever you want uh and then let's reverse color it no uh and save it right 
uh, and it'll give you uh, a different texture, you know, then you'll be able to re just bring it back very quickly from here. So uh, change your mesh. Yeah, that'll create a big mess. But anyway, uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, so if you like the video, please subscribe, or leave a comment, uh, tap that notification bell and uh, hit like. Uh, so thanks for watching and good designing.